Now let's create a partner profile with WE20 for this sender system. So for that, go to T code WE20. So we are working in the receiver system. Okay. And here I want to create a partner with type LS that is logical system. Select this and click on create icon. And the partner number we have to enter the same which we created with the VD54. If you enter some other which is not there in the VD54, system will give the error. Okay, see, enter the valid partner number. That's why we have to enter the valid partner number. Here the partner type is LS, that is the logical system. And suppose okay, here enter the user details. Suppose if any errors are there, the user who is responsible in our receiver system for this. Fine. Now, see this we are all setting we are doing in our receiver end. Okay. And this partner number is of sender system. So this sender system is going to send IDOC to our system. Okay. This means that from this partner, we'll get the inbound, right? So first create this, click on save, because only after save, we can see here, this button is enabled, outbound and inbound. Now here in our scenario, we will get the PO details from this partner. Okay, that's why in our system, we have to configure this as the inbound. Okay. Click on create icon. Here, enter message type, which I explained, POR, DCR. In partner role, actually, if you see here, here we can see EL and LS only, but I was getting some error when I was trying. Okay, and that said, like, enter the partner role either as PI or GS. So that's why I enter GS and it works. So in your system, initially try by keeping this as blank. If it is not working, then you can enter partner role as GS. In the process code, enter BAPI. As we know, this process code is assigned to the function module. If you double click, so we can see the system has navigated to T code WE41. Okay. And here you can see for this process code, this BAPI underscore IDOC underscore input one is assigned. This will perform all the PO creation tasks. Okay, keep remaining setting as it is, trigger immediately and all. So what we have done, we have enter here partner role, message type PORDCR and process code and save. As I explained, initially keep this blank and check in your system. If it is working, no issue. Save. Okay, I will explain the steps again. What I did, we entered Tico WE20 in our receiver system. Here, we created one new partner type under LS logical system. And here we have entered the sender details, sender partner number. And from this sender, we are getting the IDOC. So that's why we configure as the inbound. In the inbound, we enter PO RDCR, the message type, and the process code BAPI. Fine. So, this step is also done. Okay. Now, after these steps, what we have to do? We have to create the IDOC distribution model with the T code BD64. That we will see in the next session.